Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Let's make some creative backgrounds, shall we? Number three. Okay then, so for the third one, we are going to make this crazy looking retro style spinning globe so let's get making so first thing first we need a background okay so let's take a solid color and then let's create some lines here i'm taking a blue solid and on that i'm using a yellow stroke so after that i'm gonna add a stroke and a repeater from the drop down from add properties now we have this zigzag looking lines now let's make it wonky to make it wonky, all you need to do is add turbulent displace. After tweaking with the settings, we would have something like this. Now, to make it sphere, all we need to do is type to make it sphere. All we need to do is make it sphere by going to the effects and typing SPH, and you should have CC sphere. This is one of my favorite effects to do, you know. So after we have made the entire background into sphere, I want to create some display distinction between the layers so what i'm going to do is add shadows and highlights to every layer so blue obviously should not have any shadows because the base layer and then red has a shadow and a highlight similarly the yellow would have a shadow and a highlight now what i'm doing is i don't like that overlap so i'm trying to fix it by mirroring it so now we have this so now we have mirrored it and this looks quite seamless now let's add the pixelated effect or the cc ball action effect so after adding that we would have something like this now let's trim the composition to be a perfect square now for the first time ever in this channel we are going to debut an effect or an after effects effects too many effects okay and it's called a reptile when you have don't worry it's not a lizard or a dinosaur it's just repeat entirely when you have a small graphic you can just repeat and dial it across the screen now what i'm doing here is in the square composition i'm adding a bunch of things like i'm adding a border so that it has a red border across now we have this red border now you can see we have so many globes but we made one and from the reptile we have duplicated and dialed it across the screen so this is it. Now let's see how to make this earth go bananas. To make this earth go bananas, we have to add turbulent displacement. The same effect we used for the lines to make them wonky. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the turbulent displacement in another layer. How to do that? Just create an adjustment layer and add the turbulent displacement there. So after you have added the turbulent displacement, your earth will go bananas. If you are watching and you have subscribed and you like my tutorials, you need to comment bananas. Okay? Okay then. So we have this graphic it looks pretty nice so what i'm doing is giving it slight variation and after our final tweaking we should have something like this. now i'm going to extend the time because it was too small now we have this amazing looking background so now what we're going to do is we are going to change the timing and we are going to make it reverse now goes forward or goes towards the right I'm going to make it into four distinct sections two sections going left to right and two sections going right now comes the retro part to add the retro effects first thing to do is a bulge fx oh, that's your effect it looks complicated but it's not that complicated number two
now for the second effect we have something very simple it's just plain simple colors going from one color to other and are going in a gradient so first thing first we need to create a solid so after you, you have uh, 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 have you ever had a dreams that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything so after you have created a solid what you need to do is you just apply one effect to it that is fill and now on the color we are going to start the timer or set a keyframe after adding the keyframe i'm going to go to a bunch of times and change the color a bit now you would have something like this red to orange to green and to blue now if you want to see the colors you can see it here now let's do a quick search and search for some aesthetic color palettes that go together so you can get this online or if you like i can give you a pdf comment pdf if you want pdf after we have chosen the aesthetic colors you have your effect now what we're going to do is we are going to make the keys easy ease so what are easy ease keyframes they start slow and they stop slow basically now we are going to follow this pattern and make them spike so it starts slow but ends fast the transition time between two colors would be shortened by this now we have this endless loop and you can enjoy the color here after you have this you would get something like this okay then Number one, and we are going to make the background of this. So, to make this game style, retro style, no arcade style thing, first we need to make some colors. So, add different, different solids of different, different colors. So, I'm taking the red, green, and blue because I like red, green, and blue. So, after you have added so after adding all the four colors, we are going to give it some turbulent displacement. After giving some turbulent displacement, it should look like a unicorn to a vomit on your artwork. Okay then. So now to make this effect a bit more pleasing to the eyes, we are going to add some distractions so that the heavy color contrast does not ruin the fun. To do that, I'm creating a white background and a cyan background and adding variation blinds to them in a zigzag or crisscross manner. Now after that, what we need to do is add the collider effect. It should make this it should make this effect like trippy, psychedelic kind of a thing. Now after that, we are going to make it into balls, you know, tiny tiny balls. So make them into tiny tiny balls. What you got to do is I hope I don't get in them down make them into balls what we need to do is add ball action to it so after we have added the ball action we should get individual pixels that are glowing and changing colors now in from the layer style i'm going to add bevel and emboss to it to extend it to elevate the effect i don't get that word extend it i don't know. okay then. so after that we're going to add a bulge to it, give it the retro look and to make it pop, we are going to change and do some color correction on top of it. So I've added, so I've added hue correction. That's it. We have this effect game time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have learned a lot. See you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss it because I have no idea when the next tutorial would be out. Okay then, bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.